Hey everyone, so I just wanted to go over absolute value inequalities here. So a quick review of the symbols. If you have the absolute value of something is greater or greater than, that means you're going to have an or inequality. And you would write or down to remind yourself of that. Now when you have an or inequality, your graph is going to look like this when you're shading your answer. You'll be shading away from each other. Looks like a pair of ors. Now if you have less than or less than or equal to, um, you're going to have an and inequality. Less than means and, greater means or. And for your graph, for an and inequality, you'll be shading between the two answers that you get. So absolute value inequalities will give you compound inequalities, which means you'll have two answers. And this is typically how your graphs will look with the two different signs. Now for an actual example, this first one, the first two are pretty easy to try and show you the reasoning behind absolute value inequalities and why we make two inequalities. So absolute value of x is greater than 5. So absolute value means the distance away from 0 is greater than 5 in this case. So I would want you to think about all your possible answers that would work for x here. What are all the numbers that are further away from 0 than 5 spaces? So if this is my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, this is negative 5. Well, all my answers are going to be any number bigger than 5 on the positive side, but also any number that's less than negative 5, right? Because absolute value of a number is talking about the distance. Distance can't be negative, so anything in, in these shaded areas would work. Now the way that you get your answer algebraically is by making two inequalities, right? So we have our x is greater than 5, or we have x is less than negative 5. So our two changes here, we flip the sign, we add the negative, and that's how we get our graph, right? Open circles because there's no line underneath. Now example two, we have x, absolute value of x is less than or equal to 4, Less than means it's going to be an and inequality, means we'll, I'll be shading between my two answers. Now we're talking about the distance away from zero is less than four. So if this is zero, the only answers, the only numbers that would work here that would satisfy this inequality would be any number that's closer to zero than four is. Okay, so that would be any number between 4 and negative 4. Okay, and again, getting that answer algebraically, I would make two inequalities. So I have x less than or equal to 4, and I have x greater than or equal to negative 4. And that matches our graph. So those two examples, I hope, will help you kind of understand the reason why we have to make two inequalities when we're working with absolute value, okay? Now moving on to example three, absolute value of x minus two is greater than or equal to six. Right away, because it's greater than or equal to, I know this is an or inequality, so I make my two inequalities, x minus two greater than or equal to six, or x minus two less than or equal to negative six, and now we just solve and graph. x is greater than or equal to 8. x is less than or equal to negative 4. I'm using closed circles because there's a line underneath. And I'm shading a greater than 8, less than negative 4. Now the last example here, I have absolute value of 2x plus 1 is less than 5. This is less than, meaning we'll have an and inequality. So I make my two inequalities, 2x plus 1 less than 5, that stays the same. And 
2x plus 1 greater than negative 5. And now we just solve. x is less than 2. And x is greater than negative 3. So here's my negative 3. Here's the 2. I'm using open circles. And then I'm shading between them. And there's my answer. So if you can just remember that you are making two inequalities when you have the absolute value bars, one of them stays the exact same, and the other one makes the two changes of flipping the sign and adding the negative. This will help you solve absolute value inequalities. Uh, one more note, if your problem would be starting with something outside of the absolute value bars, let's say it said um, 2 plus absolute value of something, I'm just making up a problem here, um, you would have to get rid of whatever is outside the bars before you could split it up. So I would have to sub subtract 2 from both sides before making my two inequalities. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.